King's, Queens, Nerds, and Geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to another video. Now, today's video is actually a remake of an old video I did in the past. It was actually around one of my first videos. If you go back in my channel, you might find it. But today's video is the 10 bronies in the world. And this list is based on what I gave all this list about each individual name, so if you guys don't agree with my list, you can tell me in the comments. But here we go. So let's start number one, the clopper. For this one, I'm going to start off as weird, because in opinion, I think it's weird, that one of <clears throat> cloppers, <laughs> those of you in the fandom probably already know what a clopper is, which is a lot of people like to refer to as the dark side of the internet. Though I don't think you should draw that line there. In opinion, there should no separating. Of fandoms. All fandoms have a um, weird side. Like, everyone has porn of their fandom. So, and <laughs> that's basically what a clopper is. There's someone who faps to My Little Pony porn. And that's what a clopper is. So, uh, let's move on because this one I really don't want to stick on. So, let's move on to number two the fan artist. People are are always making fan art of many things, whether it's TV shows, songs, YouTubers, movies, and many other things, oh, such as video, oh, even video games too. But even My Little Pony is not on the exception of this. We always have the amazing fan artists who make the most badass and the most beautiful artwork you'll ever see for My Little Pony, and sometimes it's even better than the actual show's art. And that's just amazing. So I want. So let's move on to the next one. Number three. <laughs> I like to refer to these as the Brony Tones. These are people who made songs and remakes or original music songs based around My Little Pony or about My Little Pony. Which some of these are pretty awesome. Like you guys can go from Discord to let's see. Um, <laughs> Then you have that one song, um, sorry, there's some, I, I'm having trouble listing some songs, but you guys probably know some out there. And some people even go around making PMV videos or pony music videos, so we can, uh, you know, give a, a visual on a song. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Number four, the animators. Um, animators are pretty simple. Just they animate. They make their own little videos about My Little Pony, which could be either like an SMF or just a homemade generation or um, Hematron, I think that's what it's called. People make different things, like uh, Snowdrop, and I do remember there was a Remembrance, and I do remember Bride of Discord and Daughter of Discord, which is a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> and here we go. Number five... The fim fiction. Fim, fim fiction is basically where everybody, you know, everybody has fan fiction of their favorite things, such as, you know, games or books, TV shows, movies, stuff like that. My Little Pony, as again, no exception, has its fan fiction. I read some personally, and I love it. And um, it's a particular fan fiction I can list off, like Fallout Equestria, which you guys who watch my channel pretty much know what I'm talking about. Number, and let's see, we can also go on some of the... I also go by The Lost Narrator. Or she you go, also does some um, fan fiction readings, which are some pretty awesome. Um, and so on, I guess. I think that's all I can think of for fan fiction. But there's some a lot of fan fiction out there. You can go on fanfiction.com or fan fiction, which is... Nothing but My Little Pony fan fiction, so go on and check that out. So let's move on to the next one. Now this one I'm guilty of. Number six, The Collectors. I'll pull out something right now. It's quite obvious. People who collect the Merce. They never stop collecting the Merce. They'll continue on and on and on until they have a nice collection. In fact, my room, you guys can't see it because of the backdrop behind me, that I have tons and tons of Merce. And some of you who've been in my previous videos have seen some of it. <laughs> Actually, right in front of me, I have a Doctor, I have a Doctor Who's, Who's blanket hanging on the wall. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. 
number seven, the Pegasisters. You guys know about the Pegasisters. They're the... Because everybody knows the term brony, meaning, by definition, a male who likes to watch My Little Pony. That is a definition of brony. And some of you females may say, but I'm a brony, not a Pegasister. I want to be a brony. But that's I'm saying this because of the technical term, not what you believe. So I'm not saying that you could, you could be a brony if you want. I'm just saying that's the technical term. But the Pegasister is a female, an adult female, who watches My Little Pony. And I could say, I don't know... I know a few Pegasisters who would say that they are a brony, not a Pegasister. But that, hey, I'm just saying. And, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty simple as that. And number eight. <laughs> I like to call these the forum folds. These are people who go on forums, go to chats, ask questions to artists who, who use the uh, forum, um, such as Tim, um, not Tinder, um, Tumblr or 4chan to uh, like talk with people as if they were another person, such as um, Derpy, um, uh, <laughs> Lovestruck Derpy, or uh, Discord Hooves. We also have Molestia and many other things. Like, they have so many different kinds. Oh, I, there's one, another one called um, <laughs> Little Miss Rarity. You guys might know what I'm talking about here. Okay, number nine. This is one I am personally, and this only classifies to a good 1% of the population of bronies. So here we go. Number nine, the GI brony. The GI brony is, sounds just what you think it might be. It's actually bronies who decide to serve the military. And uh, this may not uh, apply in all countries, but it does apply in America. And because <laughs> sometimes My Little Pony may inspire some of the traits a soldier, like myself, will, um, you know, do, uh, do things. See, uh, even My Little Pony demonstrates the uh, leadership, uh, the leadership uh, values, like, uh, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Those are actual things that appear in the show that they teach you, and that's pretty much my pretty much a good thing. So remember, do not discourage the uh, um, bronies because they like My Old Pony because some of them are probably serving the country right now. In fact, I knew I know another GI brony. He is actually a friend of mine. He, he might see this video, but. Hey, move on. <laughs> Do more thing, guys. Yeah. Anyway, and finally, number ten. This one, guys, is actually more more common than uh, I've seen more common in people. And this one is called the closet brony. The closet brony, guys, is um, how should I put it? I actually feel sorry for the closet brony because they are so insecure in or er, in and um paranoid of what people will think, and it's a lot to do with homophobia, that, uh, and, um, because people would think down on them for my liking My Little Pony. Me, I learned not to care what people thought, like, in fact, my drill sergeants back in basic training found out I like My Little Pony when, um, my little brother sent me some stuff that had My Little Pony colorings that me and him did before I left. And I was strongly discouraged for it a lot. Even at AIT, I was strongly discouraged. And I kept doing it, and I didn't care. So that shows you, do what you gotta do. So, but in, the, in a serious notion, I've met some closet bronies. I will not name names, because, hey, I don't want people to, uh, you know, um, to I, I respect that you don't want people to know. So, anyway, guys, uh, I think that's about concludes the list. So... And anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little list I gave off. Because uh, this is... I actually had it written down on a little receipt of all the things on here. So I can um, remember them all. <laughs> well, cause I'm, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. And if you, you think there's any more bronies that you would like to... More types of bronies you would like to classify. Just uh, tell me in the comments below. Or give me your opinion on my list and all that stuff. I would like to know. Also, guys, remember to like and subscribe, strike that, spank that like button, 
and subscribe. Sorry. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. And stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.